The idea here is to explain a template, a use case that is very recurring, especially a Captain Data, which allows you to put your lead generation into autopilot on Sales Navigator. First of all, go to the template list and in Find People, a template which allows you to find people. Look at the Automate Lead Generation template. You can see this template has well-defined steps. There will be a lot of variations based on the tools you use. Sometimes you'll use Drop Contact to find verified emails. Sometimes you will use Hunter or Cold CRM. What will change are the destinations. Sometimes you'll only want to have your CSV filed, but in other cases, you will want it to be imported in a spreadsheet, in a Lemlist campaign, a La Growth Machine campaign, or directly in Salesforce and assign it to the sales team. So look at how this template is designed. Let's open one of these cards and see what are the big steps. The first big step is to do a search on Sales Navigator. So take a search and extract the content of this search. Then visit the profile of the different prospects in this search with Sales Navigator to have a richer profile, but also for another purpose, the autopilot part, which we'll see right afterwards when we'll be on Sales Navigator. Then collect the information on the company. Again, this is vital to properly qualify the company to possibly separate its campaigns into different campaigns based on management typologies or to find a verified email with drop contact. Add the results in a spreadsheet. Create a new line for each new lead you collect. This process is possible with other tools. Let's take a slightly different example. Let's collect the people from this company, but this time we'll use cold CRM, which will give us an email again and directly add the leads we found in a predefined Lemlist campaign. So let's try to launch a configuration of this workflow. We'll take one from the list to make a new configuration. So the first step is to name it. We'll take companies with 100 to 1,000 employees. So first, I retrieve the LinkedIn accounts I've already synchronized, my drop contact account I've already synchronized, and my spreadsheet account, which is already synchronized too. Now that we have finished configuring the accounts, we need to configure what is called the LinkedIn workflow. Typically, we input the starting point of the workflow. The guide next to it tells you, you need a sales navigator search in input. So we'll do a little sales navigator search. And now I'm going to tell you about very interesting filters. The first thing to do is to enter the job titles. Beware, LinkedIn is a declarative solution. So if you want very relevant results, you need to create maximum variation and exhaustiveness in these job titles. So let's say we want CMOs or chief marketing officer, typically all the people who are decision makers in marketing positions. And then the first move is to systematically check the first page and the last page. That's how you will identify the people who are on the fringe and whom you want to exclude. Have a look at the last page to check if it's relevant. When you see a non-relevant result, take back your job title expression and add an exclusion saying, I want all these people, but not the people being conversion. Once you've excluded all the people that don't suit you, check again. That is a very important iteration phase. If you want to put the workflow in real autopilot, the data coming out of it needs to be very qualitative. So you should really not neglect the time to spend on the phase of checking your search as well qualified. Once you have a well-qualified search, we said we were working. Let's take 11, 50, 200. We can see we end up with 1,500 results. Let's put Europe, and we see we have 70,000 results. That's when the very important workflow autopilot phase comes into play. It's a sales navigator filter, which will allow you to exclude the people whom profile you have already visited. That's very powerful. Why? Because Sales Navigator lets you only see the first 100 pages. That is 2,500 people. But here, you can see I have 69,000 results. It's with this filter and on the long term that we'll succeed in doing so. What is the purpose of this filter? If today I visit Rabilla's profile, her profile will disappear. It is thanks to this feature that you'll be able to put the workflow in autopilot by telling Captain Data each day and do it again to collect new ones. And it's sure it will be new people each time. So once you have your search, copy the URL. Now let's define the workflow parameters. The first parameter to define is how many people you want to extract from this search. Just a reminder, it's a workflow, which visits the profiles and which has a limit of profile visits. Up to 800 profile visits are allowed per day. So you have to limit the search a little bit to be sure to be able to relaunch the workflow every day or every two days. So I'll tell Captain Data to collect 500 new profiles. I gave it the destination spreadsheet in which I wanted to send them. To this end, there is a small sample in the guide, which I will open, import in my drive, and I'll simply copy the spreadsheet ID. 
put it in Captain Data, copy the spreadsheet tab in which I want the data to be added, and you can see all the columns will be pre-filled. You have the small filter, excludes your leads, in case you forgot to activate it in Sales Navigator. You can tell Captain Data to collect 500 profiles, and to do this every two days. I came in on Monday morning. One month later, I still have profiles that are added to the spreadsheet as time goes by and I didn't have to log in to Captain Data. I didn't have anything to do, it's 100% automated. So we've seen this case, which I will launch now, on a batch of five people to show you as an example. And let's see quickly how it could behave with another destination than the spreadsheet. It's slightly different, but overall it's always the same approach. So this time we'll look at a workflow version that works with Salesforce. So here, same approach. It's exactly the same configuration we saw before. The configuration name, the different accounts. Of course, you need to add your Salesforce account, which we didn't see previously. We'll see we can add a lead status in Salesforce. We can add a lead source saying it's someone from Captain Data. And then comes the mapping part. That's where we're going to say, I want such a Captain Data field to appear in such Salesforce field. With this, you can add a lot of data, and it will take into account all the custom fields you might create in Salesforce. Finally, the last very important feature is owner ID. You can specify who will be the owner of these leads in Salesforce. In fact, we saw we could synchronize several LinkedIn accounts. Let's say we are 10 sales representatives. We have 10 synchronized LinkedIn accounts. We all have a Salesforce account. The marketing teams will be able to take control of these accounts create searches specific to the target of each of these sales representatives, and every Monday morning provide them with 500 leads directly in Salesforce. They are ready to prospect. We completely change their work and make it much more exciting. They can achieve way more ambitious goals.